Hey guys, it's Dale with The Insurance. Um, today we're talking about, it, it, it's that, it, it's kind of a time of the year, but it's not, uh, it, it's not a holiday, right? But it happens one time a year, we all know about it. Um, and sometimes, uh, or for some people, it, 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 it's quite confusing. Although it's been around for, I mean, geez, o over a decade, almost a decade and a half at this point. You know I'm talking about health insurance, um, open enrollment, right? That time again, you have to start thinking about, or some people have to start thinking about um, placing insurance, right? So, so typically it'll be, um, and it differs for from state to state, but it's generally going to be kind of your November first through mid January, right? Um, and just as a basic, this, this article kind of goes through kind of the, the, the fundamentals. If you don't know much about OEP or health insurance at all, this is chock full with kind of the, the, the basics so that you can actually go in, have an idea of what these terms are and what these coverages are, um, which will give you kind of arm you and better prepare you for choosing um, coverage in a policy that, that kind of suits your needs. Um, so typically between November and November 1st and, and January 15th, at least that, that'll be the date for, for, for most states. Um, uh, one, one very good thing, one cool thing that not many people know about is that they do this and it's a pain in the butt, but I think if you understand why there is an OEP in the first place, um, it may not be as much of a pain, right? So as you could imagine, there's kind of adverse selection everywhere, not just kind of an in insurance, but even if you're trying to sell a car, people are trying to get over, over on you because they know they have more information than you have um, and they try to get a deal, right? Uh, in this case, for insurance, OEP actually levels the playing field, right? It makes, it makes, it, it, it shrinks the, the amount of adverse selection, right? Because if you could get insurance at any point in time, which, to be honest, it was like that forever, right? It only changed with the ACA in 2010 uh, or Obamacare, whatever you want to call it. But, but if you could get insurance at any point in time, then what they found, what insurance companies found, is that people would wait until they need, and I mean, it makes sense, wait until they needed insurance to go out and get it, right? So they knew they were sick, they knew something was coming up, they knew a claim was coming, they'd go get insurance. Insurance company would pay that claim, right? Um, so, so to cut down on that, uh, that idiosyncratic, I'll say, um, form of information, right? Um, they said, you know what? Let's squeeze all of kind of the purchasing of health insurance into one, one little segment, section of time. Um, and in doing so, you actually make um, us take on some of the risk, right? It's like, hey, we're healthy now, but we don't know what may happen in the future. So we really need to get insurance now because this is the only time we can get insurance. So that's why it happened. Um, but as you go into it, you, uh, I mean, you basically have, what, four or five options. You've got employer-based insurance, right? And that's your COBRA and your, 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 your health insurance plan that's provided through, um, through, through your employer. Um, you've got your your Medicare for for over sixty five. You got your 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 Medicaid um, for those that that are are financially in need. Um, you also have uh, kind of your 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 exchanges, whether it be on the state level or federal level, where you can go in and get insurance. Uh, and then you have your private alternatives, and those are like the the, the catastrophic event. Um, insurance and, and, and short-term insurance. So so those are kind of your options to choose from during open enrollment period, right? Um, 
and then from those you can i mean you can choose kind of the level of plan right and this is where they have the the, the metals your bronze your silver what is there gold and platinum and platinum being the best bronze being the the, the worst right and as you move up in plan <clears throat> your deductible starts to shrink, right? So in the, the, the portion that the insurance company pays increases, right? So for what is for the bronze plan, the insurance pays what 60%, you pay 40%, right? Um, and the monthly payments are, 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 are generally smaller for the bronze plan. And then all the way up to pat platinum, insurance company pays 90, you pay 10%, right? Of the insurance costs. Um, and that's uh, that that's obviously on a on a monthly basis a more expensive plan. Um, what else does it go through? And then from the from the private market, the the, the private plans, high deductible. Uh, this was this was the rave for a few years when Obamacare had just came out and people were still getting fines. You would go and try to get kind of a a. a high deductible health plan um, just to have coverage uh, and, and not to say that um, not to say that young people are uh, feel that they're invincible or something but but it was it, it was kind of geared towards uh, or younger people were, were were getting this policy because on a monthly basis it was very reasonably priced and they're pretty healthy um and if they need insurance if they otherwise didn't have to have insurance they wouldn't get it um but since they had to have it why not have a high deductible plan the only thing about it is that high deductible plan if something happens you are out of pocket for a lot of money um and if you don't have access to those resources to pay for um such care you could be in in a pretty big predicament right the 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 other is kind of a health savings plan um and, and these are these both both of these are two ways to, to kind of save a, a bit of cash health saving plan you you actually put kind of pre-tax dollars in cool thing about this is that oftentimes employers match uh, just like a 401k contribution, they match your contribution to your HSA, and then you can use those funds for qualified medical expenses, right? And then another cool aspect of this is that it, it, it actually goes with you, whether you're with the company or not, right? Another cool thing about um, OEP is that, like, sure, it's confined to kind of that 45, no, 30, 60, 75 day period, give or take. Um, but if you have a qualifying event, you can go and change or obtain insurance. Um, qualifying events are things like uh, kind of a death in a family, um, you losing your job, right? Or you turning 26 and not being able to be on your family's health insurance policy anymore. Um, those type of things allow you to, to to go ahead change insurance plan or buy insurance health insurance um, anytime that event occurs, right? I do think there's a tail on it, maybe thirty or sixty days, but but you are able you are able if one of those events happens, you are able to go and uh, and, and basically treat that time period like an OEP like an open market to, to go change insurance or, or buy new insurance. Um, those are, I mean, I, I know that's a lot. Once again, it's all, it's all here in this article as well. Very good baseline, very good foundation um, for anyone to, to, to go ahead and start that journey of trying to look for proper insurance. Um, hopefully this was helpful, guys. Thanks for uh, stopping by. We'll chat next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. And if you really liked it, hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We love hearing from you. We love hearing from our viewers. 
Um, so be sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts on this video, and we'll see you in the next one.